Is it still possible to create an effective Facebook ad campaign in 2024? In this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how you can create an effective ad campaign from start to finish. And I'm going to be explaining everything that makes an ad campaign effective, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, and how you can also do the same thing with your Facebook ad campaigns. Let's get started right away. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you are new here, this is Bizlit NG, and this YouTube channel basically talks about Facebook ads, Instagram ads. We talk about advertising and how you can leverage platforms like Facebook and Instagram and every other social media platform to generate sales, visibility, and growth for your business. So if you're just coming to this YouTube channel, thank you so much for coming. Do ensure that you subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We recently just crossed 10,000 subscribers and I want to appreciate every one of you for subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for doing this with us time and time again. All right, so let's get back into the video. Now, this video, like I said, I want to show you exactly how to run an effective Facebook ad campaign from start to finish. Now, one of the things that you realize with Facebook ads is that every time Facebook ad keeps changing, and you need to always update yourself with Facebook ads. So sometimes you see me do this video over and over again. That is because there are a lot of changes that happen every now and then with the platform. And so you need to stay abreast of all these changes and all this new interface that Facebook now has. So let's get started. What makes a Facebook ad campaign effective? Now, there are a number of things that makes a Facebook ad effective. One is your ad budget, right? When you say something is effective, it means that you're not paying so much for getting the result that you get so it means that this ad is cost effective so when you have a cost effective ad it means that your ad is very effective and you're getting good results at a low rate the other thing that can make an ad very effective is how the result is coming the result is good you're getting engagement you're getting sales from this type of ad so the result you get also can also make the ad effective right so let's look at this two things and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create your ad from start to finish considering these two things that I've mentioned I'm going to be sharing my screen I'm, of course I'm sure you can see my screen already so I'm going to be showing you exactly how I achieve this now this is the ads manager of course you must be used to this platform by now now you notice that this ads manager now has a new look right it wasn't like this before it has a new look right now uh the create button used to be green if you if you remember from my previous videos the create button used to be green but now the create button is somewhat like another shade of green anyway so um we're going to click the create button now when we click the create button we are met here with several objectives now remember that the type of ad that we want to run must be cost effective and it must also give us good results say good results with engagement good results with sales in the end now if you i were to select an objective to achieve this result i would not use awareness or traffic now traffic basically will send people to your website or maybe it's your whatsapp or your instagram but it would not really be cost effective as much as you want for this type of campaign that i want to show you you're going to be running an engagement campaign right you're going to be running an engagement campaign this will give you the result that you want now let's click on engagement and then we're going to click on continue right so we want to run an engagement campaign that is going to be effective for us right so the other thing we're going to do here is the manual engagement campaign click on it and then click continue this means that you're saying that you want to manually create your campaign yourself all right now you'd realize that when you come here all you can do here is just to change the ad name here you can just um just call it any name right here just change the ad name okay just call it um test let's just call it test then i'm going to come down and click on next we're going to get to the ad set level now the ad set level basically the type of ad that i want you to run if you really want to have a cost effective ad that still gives you result and engagement on the side you want to run an ad that is called a video views advert right so here where it says conversion location what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and you're going to click on on your ad right so click on on your ad when you click on on your 
your ad that means that you're going to be promoting a video with this type of campaign you promote a video and then people will be able to watch that video and when they watch that video they are going to also be able to send you a message so it's like you're achieving two things they watch your video which is engagement and then secondly they are able to send you a message which is result in terms of sales right so let's get uh, going with what we're doing so we click on these video views and then what we're going to do next is to maximize the true play views maximize true play views please take note of that right once you click on maximize true play views then you will click come down here right and then come to the budget now for this type of ad if you're currently in nigeria please i want to ask you to use five thousand naira at least right cost effective really right now in nigeria a dollar is as at the time of this video a dollar should be about one five one six um naira right one thousand six naira to a dollar so you want to spend averagely of about if about about five dollars so if you're spending five dollars you know that that should be well above five thousand but let's leave it at five thousand naira daily this will give us a very good result that we want on both engagement and also results uh on sales okay so five thousand naira right here and then you're going to come to this place where it says start date you can you're going to run this for the next 15 days so three plus 15 will be 18 so we're going to run this for the next 15 days to give us a good result that we want Want, okay so just follow me keep following me uh on this so the budget scheduling we're not going to be bothered about that we're going to come to the audience controls now i want to beg you that this type of campaign what we're going to do is we're going to do a some we're going to do something called drop location right drop pin it's called drop pin now this drop pin makes a lot of sense i mean it will get you good results within where you are located or where wherever you want right so we're going to drop multiple pins let's say we want to target lagos or we want to target places in lagos places in abuja and places in Ibadan, for example so let's say i want to start with lagos okay so i'm going to type in lagos so let's say um lagos here so i'm going to type in lagos click on lagos city now what we're going to do is this is lagos we're going to come inside the map and click the zoom in right the moment you keep zooming in by clicking the plus here you would keep seeing different places in lagos right you can just press and hold your mouse just to move inside the map right you can see right here that there's agege ikeja ikorodu so let's say we want to start with ikeja so what i'm going to do is to click click on drop pin here and then i'll drop the pin on ikeja so what that means is that my ad is going to be targeted on ikeja you, you can see the coordinates right here now the next place i'm going to type is let's say abuja so let's search for abuja i'm going to click abuja city right here same thing that i did i'm going to click on the plus sign drag it here i want to see places in abuja there's guarimpa there's kubwa there's Ma madala there is so let's say i wanted to do guarimpa right i'm going to just zoom in into guarimpa and then click on drop pin again and then i'm going to click put drop it on guarimpa so that means i have Ikeja and Guarimpa. So you can do this for multiple places, even in the same city. Say, for example, in Lagos, you can do this for multiple cities inside Lagos. Now, what this does is that it makes your ad precise in a way, right? Because you are not focusing on the entire state. You're focusing on places within the states where you know that you already have traction. So as a business owner, I would advise that you look into your data. Where am I currently getting people from? right i'm getting more sales from ikeja i'm getting more sales from lekki so you look at these places for i mean there are certain business owners that like to target places within lekki for example or on the island in lagos so you can do all this dropping of the pin on different places say magodo uh lekki banana island you want to do all those things you can easily do them uh with your ad this is how to be precise with your location okay so let's go on once you have done this you're good you can in increase the mile radius if you want to but if you don't want to you can leave it at 10 mile radius then we come to the advantage plus audience we are going to be using the advantage plus audience now this advantage plus audience if you've watched my previous video one of my previous video where I've, me I've mentioned this advantage plus audience you will see that i mentioned that advantage plus audience basically is you suggesting to facebook this is exactly what i want with my ad right this is exactly who i want to target but please help me target 
people outside these people that i've mentioned here so we're going to just do that right now click on the ad advantage audience here which is the optional part you saw there and then we're going to click the age range to be anywhere between 25 and 45 right so 25 and 45 is a good age range for us we're going to use both male and female now when we get to the interest interest level what all you're going to do is to now i've mentioned this before and i'm going to just say it again for the interest the best way to target with your interest is to search for your niche first so if you are a business that sells say fashion items you're going to start, let's say you sell uh you're a boutique that sells clothes wears and all those things for women so let's start with women's clothing right so we're going to start with women's clothing apparel right the moment i type women's clothing apparel i select it and i'll click on suggestions i will see suggestions that are related to that niche like fashion accessories like dresses like uh party dress you see a lot a lot of things here you can see boutiques you can see handbags um, handbag so whatever it is just select everything that you want keep it between 10 and 15 that's a good number so that you don't overflog this and go into error doing it so once you're done doing this come to the placement here where it says edit the placement yeah then come to manual placement please follow exactly what i'm doing and then in this manual placement i would advise that you turn off the audience network and the messenger if you want you can leave both facebook and instagram or i would advise that you turn off facebook and instagram now this is what i advise really if you want to use placement i advise that you run one campaign per placement you can run another campaign that has only facebook then another campaign that has only instagram targeted this way you're able to know exactly where your results are coming from and you're able to know where people are messaging you from and you can differentiate exactly what is happening with your ad so that's what i usually would advise then once you're done with this come down and then click next again this is the last stage of your ad i hope you're enjoying this if you have watched this far then thank you so much give me the thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel right okay so what you're going to do here in this last stage is to come down choose the page that you're doing this for so let's say we're doing this for um we're doing this for my page right so i'm going to just click my page and then here so all i have to do here is to click on the ad setup create ad or use existing post i love to use ex existing post because it helps me to see exactly what is happening and every of the engagement is accumulated on that existing post i think i usually just like that so existing post select the post and then come to instagram or facebook wherever your post is i'm going to select say a post like this and then click on continue right so you give the post a time just a few minutes and then it will just uh process the video now Always understand that when you use an existing post, the caption that is already on the Instagram post is what is going to be used on the Facebook, um, on the ad that you're doing right here on the Ads Manager, which is very interesting. And I think I like that. I don't have to start writing another caption or disturbing myself about caption. Okay. So now my ad is already um, is ready. So I want to see the preview of my ad, how it's going to look like. So this is a preview of my ad and how it's going to look like. Now, there's one final thing that we need to confirm right here. You can see that the, you can see here, the preview is showing that, it's showing a send message call to action. So when people see this ad, they're able to send me a message. So they are watching the video and also able to send me a message. You can see that this is really amazing and this is one of the nicest ad that you can run that is cost effective and also going to give you good results, right? You could be actually spending as low as one Naira on per click on this type of ad. That is how effective this type of ad can be for you okay so you can edit the message template if you want to you can edit the message template it's like an automation so you can edit it if you want to and then you can finally just publish your ad i hope you've learned something new in this ad i hope you've learned something new in this campaign and you're able to now run a campaign that is cost effective a campaign that is very effective from start to finish you can follow me on instagram at bizlift and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel it's at bizlift ng right here on youtube and also leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it you can watch my other videos also on my page thank you so much and i'm going to be seeing you in the next video